Hi everyone, it's Tyrone from TyroneShum.com. Today I'm going to share with you the tools that I use in my business that's able to generate a $10,000 a month income for me. And the tools that I use are actually very, very small and simple. And it's no more than just a laptop, a video camera, my mobile phone, and also a storage hard drive. And the rest is basically my mobile wherever I am to be able to run my business. So I can run my business from home, I can run my business from anywhere in the rest of the world. And this is what a lifestyle business entrepreneur is able to do. And I've been able to achieve this very, very fortunately because everything I've relied on is heavily on my systems, which is the automation part, and outsourcing to staff overseas in the Philippines. So the first tool that I want to share with you is my trusty laptop. I have here my MacBook Pro, as you can see right here. And it's a very easy to use system and what I find is that with the MacBook Pro it's actually saved me a lot of time to be able to get through and do the things that I need to do. The reason why I recommend getting a Mac for anyone out there is because it's less time with any of the problems that we had when I used to have a PC. Before this I used to own PC and I was all the way and I was all for PCs but since switching over to Mac my life has changed and I would not be able to go back to a PC any time at all. I can just guarantee you that. So if you haven't got a Mac, I recommend getting one and having a look into it. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive, but when you look at the long-term productivity gains that you get out of it and also the things that you can get and do with it, especially like the video marketing that I'm able to do, the systems I'm able to implement, it just saves you hundreds and hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars in the cost of buying a computer. So that's the first thing I have is my trusty 17 inch MacBook Pro laptop and I have all my software and all my tools loaded up inside there. Now the next thing I have is my iPhone, my trusty Apple iPhone. Now you might be thinking what's the point of, what's the necessity of having an, a, an iPhone? Well just with anything, need to contact people, need to have everything that I need to locate within there. What I, the reason why I have an iPhone is because it's linked straight into my MacBook. And if I, I used to have a HTC. If I had a HTC, it would not be able to work with the Mac. But the beautiful thing about the iPhone is that there's so many applications that you can load into it. A lot of times I'm on the go, so what I find is that I put all my podcasts that I listen to with authors who I like to listen on the go. When I'm in the gym, I usually have my iPhone on and I'm listening to really cool podcasts, interviews, learning as I'm going and that's the reason why I've got an iPhone and also just keep in contact with all my family and friends and also business contacts as well. So that's something that I'm pretty sure most people would have by now. The next thing I have is my trusty uh, portable hard drive and this portable hard drive is just a Seagate 250 gig hard drive here. All it does is just backs up all my data. So any of the videos recording that I'm doing right now, for example, this video recording, once I've uploaded it to YouTube or anywhere that I send it up to, I'll back it up, put it on the hard drive, and then have a copy there. That's, the, that's something that's a physical hard drive. I also have my backup systems online, and I've probably shared this with you previously before. It's a system that I use called Dropbox, and Dropbox allows you to be able to store up to three gigs of data online as well. If you want a bigger storage, like 50 gigs and so forth, like how I've got here in the uh, storage apartment or storage hard drive, I uh, use another so system called A Drive, and it's a free service that you can use, and it gives you up to about 50 gigs of, of storage space, which is really ample online. All right, so the next thing is, what am I doing now? What, soft, what, what tool am I using to be able to record this video? And I have myself just a simple Flip Mino the HD version. So anything that I record is in a HD version which is 1280 by 720 pixels and pretty standard, pretty common right now that goes onto YouTube, Vidla, any of the large uh, video sites that you have out there. And at the moment I can't show you what physically it looks like but this is the box of it and this is what I bought. I spent about, I think it was about 200 bucks for me to buy this one which was really really good. You can get the newer version that's out there as well, and that's slimmer and, and much newer as well. But spend, you don't need to spend more than 200 bucks or so. Also, what you probably see on me is this microphone that I'm wearing. It's a MP3 microphone, and what I have here is I have a secondary 
MP3 player, which I've got in my pocket right now. I'll just pull it out for you. And you probably can't quite see it there, but if, you, if I zoom in for you just to show, this is just an MP3 player that records my audio, so you don't get that bucket of it. At the moment, the camera that you're seeing, which is I'm recording this on, the Flip Mina, is about uh, three meters away to be able to record everything that you see around me. If I didn't have this one with me, you'd probably hear me in a bucket uh, echoey voice. So having this MP3 uh, recorder records my audio and I basically sync it back once I finish with um, the video onto my laptop. And that's how you get that crystal clear sound that you hear from me right now. If you want to go even more professional, which I've done a lot of green screen specifically for training and also to do a lot of professional recording, I have my trusty Canon HD video camera, which is what I also use to record really high definition, really high quality videos, which I do for massive presentations. And you don't have to go and spend anything like this. Simple recording like the Flip Mino is sufficient enough to do simple videos like I'm doing right now. And I'm, I'd recommend this only if you're going to be doing green screen recording in anything that's going to be of high professional value that needs to be burnt onto DVD. And this thing cost me a little bit over $1,000, but uh, it records really, really, really good quality, sharp, high quality videos. And you can see the difference if you're watching a DVD, but to record and put back onto the internet, such as uh, YouTube and, and so forth, those video websites, you won't notice the difference. So those are the tools that I use. And a majority of what I do in my business is video marketing. You'll probably notice that I do a lot of uh, video marketing. The reason why, because I don't like writing. As much as, I, as, much as uh, people say that, blogging and writing is going to help with content and building up your website. I think what's happening is that there's been a, a more shift or change for people to move online to start doing video marketing. So I highly recommend if you haven't started doing video marketing to use to do all your tools and to build up my business like what I've done right now, I highly recommend it. And it doesn't stop you from actually getting your videos transcribed to be able to create that uh, written content so what usually happens for me is once I finish doing this kind of recording, I will get my virtual assistants to transcribe my videos and then that goes post up on my blog and syndicate out to the article network. So basically these are the tools that I use to be able to generate a $10,000 a month business or five figure income business. And it's quite simple, there's nothing more to it and anyone can do it. All you have to do is have the basics to be able to get you started and just take action and find the right things that suit your business. In a future video, I'll show you exactly the softwares I use as well so that you can get a better idea of how I can integrate everything to be able to leverage my time and do a lot of other things. Well, that's it for me today. I love to hear your feedback and your comments. Just feel free to leave your comments below as well. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm Tyron Shum from tyronshum.com. Have a great day.